So last time, um, which was a moment ago and pre-ponytail, um, I tasted a white wine that maybe there was oak on the nose, maybe there wasn't on the palate. Went with Sauvignon Blanc from Napa 2018, um, which it is a Sauvignon Blanc from Napa from 2018. However, it was barrel fermented and 5% new French oak. So I'm going to go with uh, Swing and a Miss 50-50. Um, Fumé Blanc, right? Uh, from Robert Mondavi from Napa Valley 2018. So interesting. Um, super good wine. A little more floral. There is some Semillon in this wine. A little more floral that I should have gotten. Um, and, and interesting that that oak kind of tricked me up. So we're going to pay more attention to oak. Uh, in our next go round. Maybe not the red that I'm about to taste with you, but the next go round. So, Robert Mondavi, drink Fumé Blanc. Mm. Okay, that will go back in the fridge because we will be tasting that again. All right, so this is a red wine. It is very deeply concentrated. Um, it is like all the reds um, red and brickish in the core with a little like hot pinky red. Um, purple rim, tons of staining, lots of color, lots of legs. Um, this is um, probably got some alcohol, some body, all sorts of fun stuff to talk about here. So big old red. Uh, no sediment or gas, I'm assuming, but I cannot tell. There is no seeing through this wine. Um, it is, again, um, excessive staining, um, heavy tearing, and um, sort of a flat but reflective uh, uh, sheen to it. Wine is sound and very aromatic. So uh, lots of red berries, red fruit, red flowers, purple berries, purple fruit, purple flowers. There is a ripeness to all of that fruit, um, a kind of wild brambliness to all that fruit and the floral nature of it, uh, and a, an earthy character that is um, a little bit muddy and dirty and red. Um, there is some baking spice in this. There is a little bit of that kitchen counter clovey, bakey, cinnamon, vanilla, um, oak, I think is a clear character on this. So how convenient is that? And it smells hot, so I feel like there's going to be some alcohol in this too. All right, let's move to the palate. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This is a big boy. Um, yes, reds, blacks, purples, all the berries. All the fruit, there is some black plum, purple plum skin. Um, the ripeness of the fruit, if only all those berries could just be bigger. <laughs> um, so there's a there's a very ripe to almost overripe, but not we're not talking jammy or liqueur, but uh, roses and violets, big, big flowers, um, that spice component, this is definitely an oaked wine. Um, earthy is there, black earth, a little bit of um, uh, still that kind of muddy red clay uh, sort of character to it. Um, floral spice, <sighs> violets and plums, um, and oak. And there is um, some uh, herbal pyrazininess to it, right? What is that? So there's an herbal green, not quite bell pepper, not really spicy jalapeno-like, but there is a little bit of a green note here that's, um, that, that plays up that herbal notes. So um, I think there, we're going to have to talk some uh, Bordeaux varietals here. Body-wise, uh, it is a full-bodied wine. Um, there is some tannin, but it's not crush you in the face tannin. I think that there is um, medium plus. 
Um, the body is full bodied. The alcohol is definitely present, medium plus alcohol. Um, uh, there's 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 a decent acidity to this wine, but it's still kind of medium. It's a red wine, medium tannins, medium acidity. Um, that minerality we talked about all the earth. There is oak. Um, body is elevated. Tannin alcohol is elevated. Um, I feel like all of these things talk about Bordeaux varietals. So when I'm going to move to my initial conclusion, I'm going to talk about Bordeaux varietals. I'm not going to talk about Cab because I don't think the tannins are high enough. No, the pyrazines are high enough to talk about um, Carmenere or Cab Franc. So uh, I'm kind of in a Merlot um, uh, Malbec sort of vein. Um, and I think that the complexity, the depth of this, um, I just want to talk about Malbec because there's something about this that screams Argentina to me. Um, the oak on it is is a real New World sort of style. Um, it's not real brash and oaky vanilla, but um, even if it's French oak, it's it's used in sort of a newer world style of it. The alcohol is intense. Um, the body, the color, the staining, all of that stuff, it just screams kind of New World to me. The fruit was a big character in the front. So um, New World Bordeaux varietal, if I'm talking about Malbec, I'm talking about Argentina. Um, so I'm talking about Mendoza. Um, it's a quality producer. It's really nicely made. I don't think I'm paying a ton for it, but it's really well made. Um, so zing, final conclusion. This is a youthful, should have said one to three years. There's some aging on it. Two to four years. Let's give it a little bit more. Um, two to four years. Malbec from Mendoza, from Argentina. From 2016. Let me get all those years. 2016 Malbec from from Mendoza, from Argentina. Yeah, let's say that. All right, y'all, thanks. Uh, super fun talking to you about um, where I did and didn't go uh, right and wrong on the Fumé Blanc. And then let's find out about the Malbec next time. You gotta tune in again.